Welcome to the Using Juno's PyEasy module. By the end of this module, you should be able to explain how to use Juno's PyEasy to configure Juno's platforms. A Juno's device's active configuration is the currently operational configuration on the system and the configuration that the system loads during the boot sequence. This concept is analogous to both the running and startup configurations in software from other vendors. When you configure a Junos device, a candidate configuration is created that is initially populated with a copy of the active configuration running on that device. You modify the candidate configuration, and once satisfied with the modifications, commit the changes. The commit action causes the candidate configuration containing the changes to become the active configuration. Up to 49 previously active configurations are automatically stored locally on the Junos device, providing the opportunity to roll back the device configuration if necessary. An additional configuration file called the rescue configuration can be created. The rescue configuration generally contains just enough device configuration to enable an administrator to connect to a device and load a more complete configuration. Junos PyEasy enables you to perform the same Junos configuration operations traditionally performed using the Junos CLI. You can load a new configuration using the Replace, Merge, and Override options, perform configuration rollback, and manage device rescue configuration. You can change any portion of a device configuration using multiple data formats. The Junos PyEasy jnpr.junos.utils.config module defines the config object class. The methods that it provides enable you to retrieve, load, rollback, and compare the Junos device configuration. Junos PyEasy supports both structured and unstructured configuration changes. Unstructured configuration changes consist of static or templated configuration data that is formatted using ASCII text, Junos XML elements, Junos set commands or JavaScript object notation or JSON. Unstructured configuration changes can leverage Python Jinja 2 templates to deploy configuration containing unique device-specific configuration values. Structured configuration changes require that you create tables and views that define specific resources. Structured configuration changes are not covered here. Here are the methods that are available for the Junos PyEasy jnpr.junos.utils.config module config object class. Python examples using these methods are the focus of this module. Here is an example Python script that demonstrates using Junos PyEasy to load and commit a Junos OS device configuration. The Junos PyEasy device and config object classes are used to connect to Junos devices and manage configuration. The recommended order of operation for managing Junos configuration changes using automation tools is to lock the configuration database, load the configuration changes, commit the changes, and then unlock the configuration database. In networks that use automation extensively, it is recommended that you perform configuration management using a private configuration database because locking the shared configuration database can affect other automation tools. In this example, the Junos PyEasy device object class and the LXML eTree module are imported. Python Context Manager with as syntax is used to open the device connection. The device object RPC method is called to issue the get configuration Junos remote procedure call or RPC, while filter XML filters the RPC reply to display just the edit interfaces branch of the target device configuration. You can use the encoding and pretty print options to format the output. Remember that Junos devices store a copy of the most recently committed configuration and up to 49 previous active configurations known as rollback configurations. The Junos CLI show pipe compare command generates the difference between a candidate configuration and the active device configuration 
or a rollback configuration. The Juno's PyEasy config object class provides the pdiff and diff methods that can perform the same functions as the Juno CLI show pipe compare command. The pdiff method returns the difference as standard command output. The diff method returns the output as an object. This example script imports the Juno's PyEasy device and config objects. Python Context Manager with as syntax is used to combine the two objects and the config object load method is used to load a candidate configuration on the target device. The config object pdiff method is used to generate the difference output. The rollback method is used to roll back the loaded candidate configuration and the device connection is closed. By default, the pdiff method generates the difference between a candidate and active configuration. Use the pdiff rbid equals option to perform a difference operation between a candidate and rollback configuration. The configuration difference information generated by Junos PyEasy is returned in the Junos patch configuration format. Configuration statements that appear in the output preceded by a plus symbol exist in the candidate configuration and not the comparison active or rollback configuration. Statements that appear in the output preceded by a minus symbol exist in the active or rollback configuration and not the candidate configuration. In other words, configuration statements that appear in the output preceded by a plus symbol would be added to the active configuration if the candidate configuration was committed, while the statements that appear in the output preceded by a minus symbol would be removed from the active configuration if the candidate configuration was committed. The Junos PyEasy config object rollback method supports an RBID option that is used when performing configuration rollback operations. These operations are equivalent to a Junos CLI configuration mode rollback command. This example script demonstrates using the config object rollback RBID equals one method option to roll back the device configuration to the previously active configuration. This is equivalent to a rollback one Junos CLI command. The RBID equals one option is used to identify the rollback file to load as a candidate. The script also commits the configuration and prints a message to the screen. This example uses a Python script to purposely load an incorrect configuration on the VMX1 device. This action causes the BGP session with the VMX2 device to fail. Another Python script is run, which performs a configuration rollback operation on the VMX1 device that reestablishes the BGP session. A Junos Rescue configuration is an additional, locally stored configuration file. A Rescue configuration is generally a minimal, known good configuration that can be loaded and committed in case of emergency. Administrators can then connect to the device, load a complete configuration, and return the device to service. A Rescue configuration can be created at any time using the Junos CLI Operational Mode Request System Configuration Rescue Save command. When the command is issued, a copy of the device's active configuration is created and saved as rescue.conf.gz on the local device. Only one copy of the Rescue configuration is permitted. Executing the Request System Configuration Rescue Save command again overwrites any existing rescue.conf.gz file. Junos PyEasy supports creating, retrieving, loading, deleting, and committing a Junos Rescue configuration. This example script calls the config object class Rescue method and leverages the Save action to generate a new rescue configuration. Remember, this is a copy of the current active device configuration. Using the Juno CLI, a rollback rescue command followed by a commit command applies the rescue configuration. The next screen demonstrates how to use Juno's PyEasy to perform the same operation. This script uses the rescue method reload action 
to load a rescue configuration as a candidate configuration on the target device. Using Python if-else logic, the script verifies that a rescue configuration is present on the device, commits the changes, and prints the appropriate string to the screen. The Junos PyEasy config object class load method supports loading the Junos device configuration data that is formatted as ASCII text, Junos XML elements, Junos OS set commands, or JSON. Configuration files can be located on the management workstation or starting in Junos PyEasy release 2.1.5. You can load configuration data from a file located on the Junos device or at a URL that is reachable from the Junos device. Use the config object load method path and URL options to specify the location of the configuration file to load. This example demonstrates a load override operation using the load method URL option to load a configuration file that is located in the slash var slash home directory on the administrator workstation. The load method path option is used to load a configuration file stored on the Junos device. Here are some examples of the Junos PyEasy load method. This example demonstrates loading the device configuration in Junos hierarchical text format. It also demonstrates using the device object open and close methods to manage the network configuration protocol or netconf SSH device connection. The config object lock and unlock methods are also used. These methods are not necessary when using context manager with as syntax. The config object load method uses the format equals text option to support loading the configuration in Juno's hierarchical ASCII text format. Python if-else logic is used to roll back the load operation if the configuration is not supported on the device. This example script defines the data variable and associates it with a Juno CLI command. The config object load method references the data variable and uses the format option that enables Junos set commands to be used as configuration input. The example script also uses Python if-else logic to verify if the configuration already exists on the device and prints the configuration difference to the screen. To save configuration changes to the configuration database and activate the configuration on the device, Use the config object commit method. The Junos PyEasy config object commit method supports commit operations that are equivalent to the options provided by the Junos CLI. When you commit a Junos candidate configuration, you have the option to require an explicit confirmation for the commit to become permanent. This is used to verify that a configuration change works as expected and does not prevent access to the device. If the change is not confirmed, the router automatically rolls back to the previous active configuration after a confirmation timeout expires. A Juno CLI commit check command is normally used to confirm the configuration. This example uses two scripts. The first script loads and commits a device configuration using the commit method confirm option to set a five minute timer. If the configuration is not confirmed within that time period, an automatic configuration rollback occurs. The second example script demonstrates the use of the config object commit check method to confirm the configuration change. In this example, the Python script including the commit confirm option is used to deploy new configuration to a target Junos device. Remember, the Python script uses a five minute rollback timer. Logging in to the target Junos device displays the output, showing that the configuration will be rolled back in five minutes. The commit check.py script performs a commit check operation to confirm the configuration change. Although it is not required as part of a commit operation, an optional comment can be included, which is normally used to explain the purpose of a configuration change. The comment is stored in the Junos device commit log. 
This action is performed in the Juno CLI using a commit comment command with the comment enclosed in double quotes. The Junos commit log can be viewed using the show system commit Junos CLI operational mode command. This example script uses the commit method comment option to include a comment. On Junos devices with redundant routing engines, a commit operation is performed using a Junos CLI commit synchronize command. This synchronizes and activates the configuration on both routing engines. The Junos PyEasy commit method sync option performs the same function. Including the sync option when loading the configuration on a device with a single routing engine succeeds, but does generate an exception. Welcome to the Junos PyEasy exception handling module. By the end of this module, you should be able to explain how to configure Junos PyEasy exception handling. The Python scripts you create may be correct, but still fail to execute properly. Errors that are encountered when Python scripts run are called exceptions. A Python script can be syntactically correct, but fail because of external factors, such as target devices that are unreachable, session limits that are exceeded, or configuration databases that cannot be locked. You can include Python code in your scripts that handle these types of exceptions. Junos PyEasy includes the jnpr.junos.exception Python module that is used to handle Junos PyEasy runtime exceptions. The Junos PyEasy jnpr.junos.exception module defines Junos specific exceptions, such as connection errors, configuration errors, commit errors, protocol timeout errors, permission errors, authentication errors. Junos PyEasy leverages Python try accept statements to implement exception handling. The actions that the script is expected to perform are included under the try statement, followed by the accept statements, identifying exceptions that may be encountered during runtime and determining what actions to take. Whether or not exceptions are encountered, the operations in the finally block are executed. This example script demonstrates importing the individual interesting exceptions from the jnpr.junos.exception module. An alternative is importing every available exception using the jnpr.junos.exception import asterisk option. This example demonstrates several attempts at running the same Python script with different exceptions intentionally introduced. The first run of the script is successful with no exception encountered. The second attempt encounters an exception related to device connectivity. The third attempt runs the same script and encounters issues with locking the target device configuration database, while the final attempt demonstrates handling a commit error exception. Welcome to the Junos PyEasy and Jinja2 templates module. By the end of this module, you should be able to explain how to integrate Junos PyEasy with Jinja2 templates. Many Junos device configuration options, such as IP addresses, autonomous system or AS numbers, routing neighbors, and so on require unique, device-specific configuration values. Junos PyEasy leverages Python Jinja2 templates and device-specific YAML variable definition files to configure Junos devices with unique values. You are responsible for managing two Junos devices that currently only have the management interface FXP0 configured. You want to use Junos PyEasy to deploy a complete device configuration that configures the GE0/0/0 interface and establishes an external BGP or eBGP neighbor relationship between the devices. The first step is to identify the device configuration that you want to turn into template variable values. The values used for this example are displayed. Note that this example uses a standard text version of a device configuration, but XML, JavaScript object notation, or JSON, or Juno set commands could also be used. This screen shows the same basic configuration structure but the device-specific configuration values are replaced with Jinja2 variables 
that are enclosed in curly braces. The names of the variables can be anything that you like. You will use the variable names in the device-specific YAML variable files. In this example, the variable names begin with either BGP or loopback. The YAML variable files will be divided into two sections, and the BGP and loopback keys specify the exact section where the variable is located in the files. In this example, the template file is saved using a .j2 extension, but you can use any file extension that you want. This example shows two YAML files that contain device-specific values for each Junos device. Note the BGP and loopback YAML mappings. The YAML files on the screen contain all the values needed to populate the Jinja2 variables in the Jinja2 template file. Save the variable files using a .yml file extension. The Junos PyEasy script ties everything together. The first few lines of the script import the necessary modules and classes. Next, the VMX1 and VMX2 device host names are assigned to a Python list named Junos Hosts. A Python 4 loop determines the YAML file name containing variable data for each target device. The file name is a concatenation of the device host name and the .yml file extension. The YAML file is opened in a read-only mode and assigned the name fh. The YAML safe load function is used to parse the file. Then, context manager with as syntax is used to create the device and config instances and associate them. The Junos configuration is loaded using the config object load method and configuration differences are printed using the pdiff method and the configuration is committed. Note that this example script does not include exception handling for simplicity. As displayed in the pdiff output, Junos PyEasy renders unique device-specific configuration values. This example output demonstrates the successful deployment of device configuration using unique configuration values that are sourced from the Jinja2 template and YAML variable files.